anyways, Jake here of Point Time Photography. I got with me Brock from Mall Taco over here in his awesome Toyota Tacoma. Uh, what, what year is this? 2018. 2018, all right. Yeah. This thing's been, this thing's sick. This is actually one of my favorite builds, especially like around town, man. This thing's been really cool. I've actually really wanted to check it out for a while. Um, so tell me, we're gonna do a little walk around the rig and kind of just check everything out. Um, so tell me, uh, what bumper did you go with here? This is the CBI T3 okay. bumper. All right. And uh, I went with full hoops, a little bit of crash protection. Yeah, I know. I like that. That's that's awesome, especially having them on the trail, especially because I notice it's always this area right here that always just kind of gets like messed up the most for some yeah. reason. 100%. Then went with, uh, we got a Baja Designs light bar, right? Yep, yep. on nice. six. And then let's see, you did a worn winch? Yes, the it's a worn Xeon 10S okay. synthetic rope. And a, nice, with the synthetic. Yeah, and the Factor 55 flat link. Okay. And then you had some cool mountain here or something like that that yeah. you were telling me about, huh? This is a tandem off road um, worn winch controller mount. Can't remember what they called it, but they're a cool company out of Texas. Okay. It's just a couple brothers, they right. do custom Toyota parts. Okay. Nah. They got lots of cool little products. Small nice. shop, but cool guys. Very cool. Big help. And then you did, I think you were telling me you did your own like battery system or something, right? Yeah, we got the um, off-grid engineering dual battery tray set up here. Okay. And I went with a Red Arc BCDC 1225 charger. All right. Which uh, it allows me to kind of charge that battery completely independent from my start battery. Okay. And this truck has a variable voltage alternator right i heard about so just a days. direct link between my batteries could lead to charging problems down the road right and then um backing that up i've got just a fuse block with a uh switch pros controller that goes into the dash yeah i've been liking the switch pros i i, I see and i know a lot of people are using them yeah i i really like that switch pro yeah uh, it keeps it all factory mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. That is I like that. It doesn't get nice much real clean. That's that's really nice. That's like it's like almost like it's meant to be there. Yeah. And then uh I got an Expedition Essentials T PAM is what I think they call it okay. up there. Phone mount and then uh I 3D printed that C B radio mount just oh, okay. to keep the radio up visible off the floor oh, all right so you do 3d yeah. printing too huh? yeah nice man oh yeah yeah and then what kind of uh what kind of racks are we using up, up top um i got the prince you prince you designs rack okay and prince you top rack is what i think they call the one in the back okay and then um ran some action tracks i yep. think up there too yeah yep. i got an old set of action tracks mm -hmm. and then the lights on the side i also 3d printed they're um, not the coolest or the nicest, but they work. No, those are, I like how flush they are. That's like yeah. they're right up against the truck. And like, that's one thing with like the other lights is they come out. So you gotta yeah. worry about taking them out on the trail. If these are just flush up against the rack and they're just, yeah, that's perfect. That's why I kind of went with the build it yourself. Right, right. And then the light bar on that rack is a pretty sweet Amazon special. Okay. You know. Oh yeah. So, hey, that works, man. As long as it turns on. Mm -hmm. But, um, and then you're using the S pods, oh no, the S2 Pros yes. right here, right? S2 Pros, amber cornering. Right. And uh, those are a big help in the mountain. Right. Not really a big help anywhere else. It's always nice to have that 45 <laughs> right here, because yeah. that way you know what you're turning into. Yeah. And that's that's always been my 100%. biggest favorite light right there, man. 100%. And then what kind of sliders are you using? Um, these are the first thing I put on the truck. Okay, yeah, and that's always the smartest thing to be a slider. Those yeah. are the All Pro, Predator sliders, maybe something okay. like that. All right. Yeah, all right. and I didn't get them with a fill plate just because I, I don't have dogs, so I don't have to worry about my dog's paws falling through there or nothing. Right, right. You know? but yeah. Those are just bolt on. I like these too because they double as a step too, yeah. so you can get up on your yeah. get your stuff from your rack nice and easy and stuff too. I like. Yeah, that. they're they're big help, and um, I've actually used them uh -huh. accidentally and intentionally, so it is. Yep. It is a very good piece of armor. It's probably the first thing anyone should put on their rig. Yeah, no, absolutely. And then what kind of suspension are you running there? And for suspension, I'm running an Icon, kind of a chopped up kit. Okay. Um, it's pretty equivalent to like stage nine. 
They're uh, two and a half inch reservoirs okay. with the adjuster valve. I think they call it like C C D C or something oh, okay. like that. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, 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 compression dampening controller. All right. And then uh, recently I took the Icon springs off the coilovers and went with a 14 inch by 700 pound Ibox. Okay. Yeah. And then oh, I nice. think these are the uh, Icon rebound rims. Okay. Those are nice. Those yeah. are brand new. And then those guys are fitted with the uh, Falcon Wild Peak Wild mud Peak trains. Trains. I know yeah. a lot of people are using these tires yeah. now. You like them so far? I love them. Yeah. You know, I can pretty much keep it in two-wheel drive everywhere I go. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. And then uh, what kind of what kind of tent we got over here? Uh, this is the Tapui Kukanam. Okay. Uh, I think the Kukanam three. And uh, it's it's you know it's a tent. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm pretty sure everyone who's in the industry has seen a rooftop tent or two. And yeah, probably had a little bit of an idea of what they are, what they look like. Yeah, you know, they're cool. Right. They're super. So cool. how would how would you like this one so far? Like, what's pros cons? What do you what do you like? Um, I love sleeping in it. Okay. Now, as you notice, I'm sitting like off level. Right. And I've leveled the truck up with rocks. Okay. So reaching the tent to set up and tear down oh. is difficult. Gotcha. So you definitely have to have some height. And I mean, right, I'm, I have right. it sitting on the top of a near camper shelf. Okay. So the height thing is kind of pain in the butt. Right, right. But yeah, I, I can picture a lot of guys that are running like the shell and the rooftop tent on yeah. top having that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What do we got going on back here? What's, what's... Back here is kind of a mess right now. But this is just a uh, deck drawer system. Nice. It's got tool drawer with a little bit of camping cooking stuff. Yep. And then uh, this drawer is basically just. There you go. All yeah. right. So one side it was camp kitchen and the other side it's all tools. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Pretty much. That's a good idea. Yeah. Then you added in some charging ports and stuff right yeah. here. I wired got in your some full plugs. size spare. Full size spare. I have a rear bumper. Mm -hmm. um, it's being built by Brute Force Fab. Okay. And uh, that should be done here anytime. I'll have a swing out. All right. Pull the tire out of the bed and nice. free up some space. Well, shoot, I was just getting ready to ask you what are going to be some future upgrades and what do you, what do you, what do you think you're going to go on? But apparently the yeah. rear bumper is going to be the next thing. Yeah, rear bumper is the okay. immediate next. Right. And then um, after the rear bumper goes on, I will be replacing the Icon RXT Stage 2 kit, which is uh, their full leaf pack, okay. hydro bumps, and right. a two and a half inch in the back. Right, because of the extra weight on the rear, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, that makes, yeah, that makes yeah. a lot of sense. The Icon kit's been great. Uh -huh. um, with my setup, though, I'm a little bit heavy, and I've kind of flattened out that leaf pack pretty good over the past year. Okay. Gotcha. So. That'll be something okay. that I'll hopefully be able to fix with some uh, HD Devers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I'm running. Yeah, I've been running Devers on my rig so far. They've been. They're. They're awesome. I love those. Yeah, those packs, man. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I think that. Uh, what was that? What was this here? Tell me. I, we were talking about this the other day. This cool little idea I saw you doing with the Milwaukee. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen that done yet. So, being a tradie. Uh -huh. The uh, Milwaukee Packout is kind of an everyday part of my life. Right. But this is the Packout wall mount. Okay. Right here. And um, I obviously mounted it flat, but right. same thing. And these boxes have a latch right here that allows you to click and remove them. Really? So this okay. is my toe strap. Right. And uh, it allows me to keep that accessible, ready, right. without the lockdown. That's I, and, um, I like that. I've That's stacked. Awesome. You can stack multiple boxes, right. and I ran like a two box stack mm -hmm. and gone, you know, eighty miles an hour down the freeway for hours, no problems. Really, so probably one of the cooler things. Yeah, I was gonna say I really like this idea because it's usually what you have to do is you have to run some straps over yeah. and everything like that, but this just locks into place, so that's yeah. perfect. That was one of those solutions to make my life a little easier. Oh yeah, no, especially especially when you're getting stuff off the top. Yeah. yeah. It can make it any easier at all. It's, yeah. Sure. And then you're running, uh, you have a fridge in here, I think, yes. too, right? This is the... Whoa, look at that monster. This is the Dometic 55 IM. Okay. So it's got the ice maker in it. Okay. And uh, 
that's kind of running off the dual battery. Okay. That's backed up by the red arc. Nice. Oh yeah, dude. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. And the most important thing on the truck, in my opinion, mm -hmm. is one of the smallest things, but would be my fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher, yep. Especially if you're gonna have a gas stove, campfire, yep. anything out, you know, the farther oh, yeah. you go away from people, the yeah. harder it is for help to get there. Oh well, yeah, no, absolutely. So, I, yeah, I was just gonna say, what's your favorite thing on the, on yeah. the rig? Well, that's, yeah, fire extinguisher makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I've absolutely. never had to use it. Well, but, yeah, that's always a good thing. You, you know, never <laughs> have to use your fire <laughs> But um, there's, there's been a time where, like, I was cooking bacon, and I left it in the in the grill I was using on Traeger. Yeah. And then the next morning, I went to go cook again, and we fired up the grill, and I wasn't paying attention. I turned around, and when I lifted open the lid, the, like, grease caught fire, and it was just like, boom! <laughs> and there was probably, like, a four-foot fireball just shooting into the air. Yeah, I feel like we've all probably yeah. had that happen at one point in time. I thought for camping sure. Camping just, camp cooking just doesn't quite go according <laughs> to plan. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks yeah. a lot, Brock. I appreciate yeah, you showing me around the course. road, man. Anytime. Hell yeah. See you guys next time.